I was asked to do it by working title when I was about 18. It's sort of notorious that, you know, when you're a girl in your teenage years, there's just nothing, there's nothing to play. There's nothing really of any substance. And I, and I kind of experienced that a little bit. And then suddenly Tim and Eric from Work and Title were like, do you want to play a Scottish queen? And I thought, that's brilliant, I'd love to do that. Um, and the fact that it was a Celtic queen as well really excited me. So it took another, you know, five years before we made it. But, you know, I was I was just so happy to, to get to do something that was going to have like a proper sort of arc to it and, and be really sort of well-rounded and interesting. This Elizabeth was a very different kind of person to anyone I've played before. That was, that was interesting. It took a while to get into her mindset. The aesthetic of the character, of course, I was in the hands of very talented people, Jenny Shoko and Alex Byrne, our hair, makeup, costume designers respectively, who had actually done the Elizabeth film, so they know this character inside and out and, and really went, you know, many layers deep to, to explore another side of her. We played a lot into the fact that she was uh, ill with smallpox, almost died from it, and then was left permanently disfigured from it, um, hence the white makeup filled with arsenic. Um, so... It was filled with arsenic. Yeah, she had arsenic in her makeup. Damn. I know. She, yeah, died. She had some problems. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> mm. she, she didn't know it at the time. Anyways, uh, so, so, yeah, about three to four hours getting ready, which <coughs> is about how long it took to get Queen Elizabeth ready in real life. You know, we saw each other in the rehearsal period, of course, just looking like ourselves. We'd never seen each other in character and didn't really know how each other were really playing it. And uh, it wasn't until the moment where we literally see each other for the first time. Um, they kept us on separate sides of the set for the beginnings of, the, of, of that scene. You know, in between takes, we would take into the mm. other sides of the forest because we were shooting in like a forest. <laughs> in um, the woods. Out in the, the woods. Wood. Um, and it wasn't until the moment where we really confront each other for the first time, that's when we saw each other, which ended up being uh, honestly like a, I don't know, like a punch in the guts or something. It was just like, oh, it just floored me and mm. I like fell apart completely. She. She was just, she looked so, and I'm obviously it was my last day of shooting, it's Sersha's first day of shooting, so I've just done this entire, you know, my part of the movie, thinking about her, obsessing over Mary all the time, imagining her in my head, and then she was standing there, you know, still looking young and radiant and fierce, but her clothes are torn and, and, and just, you know, she's holding her hand out and, and knowing that in that scene I'm not going to take her hand. It just killed me in that moment.